Today, AstraZeneca released the initial results from their clinical trial, and they claim that their shots are 62 to 90 percent effective. So why such a big spread? Well, the company tested different doses, and the average effectiveness was 70 percent. To give you a better idea of just how good that is, the FDA is ready to approve anything that is at least 50 percent effective. The vaccine would be considered a success at 77 percent. So AstraZeneca is right there. Pfizer and Moderna both claim effectiveness in the mid 90s. The AstraZeneca shot is more of a traditional vaccine because it doesn't use mRNA technology and that gives it one big advantage. Apparently it's very easy to ship. Mm -hmm. It uh, gets to be stored in a refrigerator, yeah. not really cold, and it's very stable in a refrigerator for a long period of time, which will make it especially important in countries without a lot of infrastructure. The University of Kansas Health System is participating in this AstraZeneca trial, and they're still signing people up. At this point, they're really looking for more diverse volunteers. We need to know how those shots affect everyone. So why would anyone sign up? Well, there is a good chance that you get the vaccine before anyone else. If you get sick, you have immediate access to testing, no waiting around, and you also get health monitoring equipment that you can use at home. If you're worried about safety, here's some peace of mind. So far, there have been no reports of serious illness or side effects in people who got the vaccine. If you would like to sign up, you can open up your KCTV5 News app. You can find more details with this story in the vaccine tracker section.